Hi guys, I am Taurus with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's messages for uh, the collective. This will be a timeless reading when you see it is when you're supposed to see it. Um, there wasn't really any extra messages that came out, but there was one card that uh, fell out as I was shuffling the cards, which is the Seven of Hearts. It's a number 21 card, rounds down to number three. Three being about the Ascended Masters working with you. Two is about duality, and one is about new beginnings and manifestation. This card is uh, the Stork, which is a bringer of messages. Also could mean that you're going to be changing employment. Um, three, three, or uh, some of you may be moving to a different residence. This is what that, that is talking about. Um, it could also just be a bringer of good news. Um, you might be receiving a letter. Some of you might be getting to receive a, a letter is what I'm feeling because I'm seeing like an uh, uh, envelope with somebody's address on it and a postmark. So it's making me feel as if that's what that's talking about. Uh, what cards do I go to now? What other messages do you have, please, for the collective? <clears throat> So the nine of clubs is a number 26 card, rounds down to a number eight. Eight is about an infinity balance, going with the flow, uh, being in the rhythm of what the universe uh, has in front of you. Two is about duality, goal setting, things like that. One, two, three, you can look that number up on Sacred Scribes. And six is about healing within the family dynamic. It could also mean balance and harmony. But this is talking about, um, it could be two different things. It could mean false friendships. Or it could also mean that there's a lot of love coming into your life. It could be unconditional love that you're starting to have for yourself. This could be love that you have for others. This could be love and romance from like a uh, intimate type of partner, spouse, or what have you. This could also just mean, uh, you know, love and friendships. Like a lot more attention or a lot more love or something to do with the coming together and there being more love. Yes, they're saying. And then... Um, no, the nine of diamonds is a number 39 card rounds down to a number 12 one being about uh, new beginnings as well as manifestation two is about duality and uh, goal setting three is about the ascended masters working with you nine is about philanthropy um, this is a card of joy love peace um, two 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 you can look that up on sacred scribes but this is matters of the heart so there may be things that are going on in your life right now uh, that have to do with self-love, loving others, unconditional love, Christ consciousness, anything that has to do with that. And as I'm picking these up to show you, I'm seeing that it's 9-9. Nine, nine. So you guys may want to look that up on Sacred Scribes as well. I, I feel as if there's some kind of adventure. Uh, this may even have to do with you know, this letter that's coming, maybe somebody's asking you to go on some kind of vacation with them or something of that sort, but there's some kind of adventure traveling, something of the sort that's, uh, may have to do with your family and friends or anybody that is a loved one. And there's going to be lessons that you're going to learn. That's going to bring you back together or bring you closer together or something of that sort. This card in particular makes me feel like camping. Somebody's going camping. So that may be some of you. I know it's starting to get warmer here. So maybe some of you are starting to uh, want to do that or what have you. Um, nine of clubs is a number 41 card. Rounds down to number five. Five is about positive change and transformation. Four is about the uh, angels working with you. One is about new beginnings as well as manifestation. But the, uh, the rose can indicate friendship it can indicate love but this is talking about good health is what this is talking about so uh some of you may be okay it's also saying it's about beauty so beauty and health some of you may be starting to find out <laughs> look at this nine 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 sorry nine 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 so some of you may uh even be feeling better about yourself. Maybe your self-esteem is going up. You may be feeling more beautiful or, you know, what have you, more confidence even is what I'm hearing. Yes, they're saying this also could mean that uh, a lot of you are on the right path, making the right changes when it comes to the things that you should eat and drink or put put onto your body or into your body even. I'm talking about lotions and, and things like that as well, shampoos and stuff. Uh, but people are really starting to pay attention to what their body wants and needs. And that is causing, you know, the good health that's coming. I guess I hear. This could also mean bad health um, as well. But I'm not feeling that. 
I'm feeling good health. And it, and I even feel like it has something to do with heart health. So this could be talking about the actual heart, the physical heart, or the heart shock. Or maybe you're, you've healed a lot of traumas that have to do with the heart. And you're feeling a lot of joy now. Um, I hear sorrow is over. So some of you may have been going through like some kind of grieving process or feeling a lot of sorrow about something or what have you. Any, it could be anything like that. These cards, thank you. <clears throat> Universal energies, what messages do you have for the collective, please? In love, romance, finance, ascension, thank you, ascension messages and messages from spirit or higher self, please. Earth, learn how to be human in the world, but not of it. I'm going to read what the book has to say about this card. The, the the first impression that I'm getting, though, is the feeling of separation. Not a bad separation, but a separation as in, like, maybe you're seeing things from a higher perspective. Or maybe you've risen, risen through uh, multiple dimensions or what have you. And you're staying more in those higher dimensions than you are in the lower dimensions. So you don't feel as connected to the earthly things or something of that sort. That can be bad, but what I'm feeling right now is this is good. For a lot of people, it's a good thing. It's like they've, they've gotten to that level of understanding and being able to, to rise through higher states of consciousness, which brings you through higher states, uh, uh, higher dimensions or what have you. So I feel like that separation is a good separation. It's people starting to feel um, like they're rising. hope I'm saying that right. But um, it could also... This card could also be telling you to stay grounded, you know, make sure before you go out to the store or go to work or what have you, even interacting with, I do this sometimes before I even um, interact with anybody at all. So just grounding myself and making sure that I'm putting that cocoon of protection or some kind of invisibility cloak or something around me so that these uh, energies, lower vibrating energies that may, they may try to attach to me, you know, if I'm having a bad day or what have you. So I just automatically put those hedges of protection up those cocoons or what have you to see what they're saying but um i don't feel like i need to read that anymore i feel like i got what it's trying to say but uh you know that rising through higher states of awareness is making you you know you're getting to that space of not feeling so a part of the world yeah okay what cards are these still thank you Universal energies. What messages do you have, please, for the collective and love, romance, ascension messages? Messages from spirit or higher self, please. What messages do you have for the collective and love, romance, ascension messages? Messages from spirit or higher self. Am I supposed to take all of those? This one? Am I supposed to take any of these? Okay. Okay, the first card is wait. It says, it's not yet the time and things are being woven. So some of you may be feeling a little bit down in the dumps as if, you know, life just isn't changing as fast as you want it to. You've expected so much more or, you know, you expected things to go a certain way and they haven't went that way yet. So you're starting to have a little bit of doubt or distrust. I've been there. I've been there for quite a few days and, you know, feeling like I've been, I've blessed and helped so many people. It's like, when am I going to get my blessing type thing? Not that I'm not blessed. Please don't think I'm being egotistical, but you know, there's just a time when you just give and give and give and you don't get back. And that's kind of where I've been. So some of you may just be waiting on those blessings to happen or, you know, waiting for the storm to just calm down or something. But this is telling you to be patient. This is asking you to trust in what the universe is saying. I was told to turn it on its side. So this is what it looks like this way. But to turn it on its side, it's like you're sitting on top of the world looking down, seeing things from a higher perspective, just like this card was talking about. You know, just like this person being in this cocoon, wrapping themselves in a cocoon and protecting themselves from all these energies that are coming towards them. They're also rising through higher states of awareness and looking down on the earth. So a lot of you may be going through that. It may not just be that. It may be that, you know, there's a situation in your life that you're seeing from a higher perspective. And, you know, I've been hit with some, some realities uh, that weren't so comfortable. You know, I didn't realize some of the things that I was saying or doing and how hurtful they could be or what have you. So, uh, 
what was the point I was trying to get at? Some of you may be seeing those thing, type of things from a higher perspective and learning like maybe I am a problem or maybe I am an issue or maybe what I am doing or saying could be causing other problems that is keeping this cycle going. So some of you are, are starting to see those type of things from a higher perspective is what this is talking about. But um, some of you, this weight card is talking about um, staying back in the backgrounds. Maybe you don't know what your next step is yet, but it's not time for you to know what that next step is, is what I'm getting. Yes, they're saying there's either something that still needs to be learned in the, in the space that you're in now or something of that sort before it, you know, you're going to start to see that shift. Yes, they're saying. I feel a lot of patience, calmness, trust. It feels as if, um, like you may have that feeling like you hold the whole world in your hand or you hold all the answers right in your hand, 1111. That's a number of awakening, a, number, a twin flame number, as well as uh, a mirror. So you may be mirroring things and a manifestation number as well. New beginnings all over the place. But um, the next card that came out is your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, and creative ac accountability. So instantly what I was getting off of this is manifesting. So um, one of the ways that I manifest is I will close my eyes just like I'm getting ready to meditate. I will... Uh, send out love to the universe and then I will imagine different um, things that I want to manifest into my life so one thing that Nick and I are trying to manifest is land land that we can either build a house on there already has a house on it that we can build other houses on we want land to do things on farm have animals there's just different projects that we envision so we think about these different things we uh, think all the way down to the details of the different things that we want on the property. We want a teepee. So we always see this teepee with a bunch of people around it and people playing music. So all of the things that we try to, not try, that we are manifesting, we will send those images out into the universe, universe, yeah, universe, and we'll see the images come back to us. Now this is just us imagining at first, seeing those images coming back to us until it just became something that happened. One, two, three, four, where we were seeing those images come back or we'll feel the energy come and hit us in waves and ripples or um, some kind of way the energy will hit us. But anyway, um, practice manifesting with manifestation exercises. I know I have videos on my channel that are about manifesting and like uh, their actual um, videos th that will that are guided meditations, so to speak, for manifesting. So make sure that you watch those if you don't know what I'm talking about. And that'll help to give you an idea. But just be creative. That's what this card is also talking about: is being creative. You know, we are the architect of our of our life, of our world. You know, what we put in is what we're going to get back. Thirteen, thirteen. So um, think positive thoughts when you're manifesting. Act as if you already have it. Speak out loud as if you already have those things thank the universe over and over and over daily thank you for helping me to lose weight or thank you for uh my healthy body that's not hurting or what have you just get creative 1331 i was also told you to tell to tell you but um this is also talking about being the artist so some of you may be picking up hobbies of painting and um it, it could be anything anything that has to do with art anyway and uh, is asking you to do things like that to bring yourself joy. They, the cards yesterday were talking about doing things that will help you to be playful and joyful and that will help you to uh, be creative. So make sure that you guys are doing those things. What fairies instantly I heard. Universal energies, what messages do you have, please, for the collective and love roommates? Thank you. Am I supposed to take them both? Okay. The Bodacious Bodoc which is a 59 card, rounds down to number 14. One is about manifestation as well as new beginnings. Four is about the archangels working with you. Uh, five is about positive change and transformation. And nine is about philanthropy. I'm also hearing it could be about balance. That's the first time I've heard that one with that. But anyway, um, the Bodage is Bodoc. I'm not really getting anything off of, but I, I usually feel like it's talking about meddling in something or um, I'm hearing self-sabotage for some reason. But... I want to see if that's what this is talking about or if it's just a picture I'm getting up from. I still don't know all of these cards real well. Um, 
Well, that is what it is. Meddling, tampering, self-sabotage, fixing, helpful fixing in order. So uh, when I heard the order, I was hearing organization again. So yesterday's reading, was, the weekly reading was about organizing your thoughts, your uh, home, your closets, what have you, uh, things like that. But I feel like this could mean many different things. So whatever it is for you is, is how you should take that. But I feel like it's talking about the order, bringing order to things. So it may even be talking about, um, you know, seeing things from a higher perspective is helping you to get your life in order. Things are starting to calm down. They're starting to be better. And I feel that in my life. So um, that wouldn't surprise me if you do too. Penelope Dreamweaver is about dreams coming true. It's about dreaming big and manifesting by thinking big, being positive, uh, acting as if all of those things. But this is talking about, you know, those things that you've been wanting to manifest and been trying to manifest for so long. They're coming, guys. You know, just wait. <laughs> Be patient. Start to look at things from a different angle. See the things that you've already been blessed with. See all the things that you've already manifested. And why do you doubt? Question, why do you doubt when you've already got all of these other things that that's talking about? Yes, they're saying. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> The ding, ding, ding was a little bit delayed. But anyway, this is a 28 card. Rounds down to a number 33 is about the Ascended Masters working with you. Zero is about the beginning point as well as new cycles, a, a never-ending cycle. Uh, two is about duality, goal setting, patience, joy, trust, hope being optimistic. So make sure that you're being very hopeful about things and uh, stay, staying in that kind of energy. What cards am I supposed to go to now? What cards? Thank you. What messages do you have for the collective, please? And love, romance, ascension messages, messages from spirit or higher self, please. Am I supposed to take them both? Patience is the first one. So this is just a confirmation. These are the confirmation cards. Anyway, a confirmation of what I was trying to tell you. So, uh, what is the saying? Patience is a virtue or something like that. Anyway, this is a number six card, which is about healing within the family dynamic. This may even be telling you to have patience with the healing that is happening within your family dynamic or within your relationships or what have you. But um, I, with this card, I get a lot of calmness, a peaceful, calm, uh, almost as if a major shift in balance has happened. Which is funny because Nick had just done a reading for him and I uh, before he was getting in the shower. And it was talking about balance and stuff. So um, a lot of us may be coming into balance in many different areas of our life. And then bluff. This is the number three. Three is about the Ascended Masters working with you. And I feel like my throat is just going through a lot of stuff right now. Maybe throat chakra uh, could be work, being worked on. I'm not getting anything off of this card either. I get the sense that people feel like they were lied to. Um, like the visions that you've had and this, I feel this way and this is why I'm saying this because I, I, I'm remembering how I feel about this, but you know, the visions that you've had that you think should have already came true because you was told soon and soon and soon it's going to happen very soon. Well, soon to the angels or soon to our guides can be 10 years from now. It could be 20 years from now. They have no concept of time because time doesn't exist where they are. So I get the sense that people feel like they've been lied to or been cheated or they're never going to get what they say have been or have been told that they are going to get. And the universe is saying, just wait a minute. Like, there's more cards coming, okay? Something is about to change. Something is about to shift. Just be patient. Wait. It's going to happen. Whatever it is. I don't know why, but bring love into the situation. I mean, I know why, but that's why it was coming up with the whole wait card. When you're, while you're waiting, bring love into the situation. If you're waiting on a person, maybe you... you Need to forgive them. I don't know where that's coming from either, but something to do with forgiveness. 
feel like this reading is a little all over the place here. What other messages do you have for today? Animal cards. Thank you. Whoa, they all came out. <laughs> they all just went all the way across the thing. But one card was flipped. So I'm going to look at that one. Walrus, remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Stay out of your mind. Uh, you know, go with what is guided to you. Get confirmation. Pray and get confirmation on the things that are happening in your life before you make decisions and make an ass of yourself and, uh, and do something you shouldn't be doing or what have you. Get confirmation. The universe will give you confirmation through commercials, repeated lyrics on a song, um, Signs in the clouds, repeated numbers. You may get an uh, audible sound that comes to you. You may see a word scroll across your eyes when your eyes are closed. A hundred million different ways you can be getting signs and omens, feathers, coins, what have you. That will just lead you to the answers to what you're seeking. So before you make any decisions, make sure that you're doing that. Um, and, and you'll start to see, like... You can trust, you know, you get confirmation and you see that it works out. Then you can start trusting more in what the universe is doing for you. Yes, they're saying. What other messages do you have, please? Thank you. Two more came out. The cat. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. Instantly, I heard codependency. So some of you may ha have a lot of codependency things that still need worked out. Or maybe uh, you have already worked out those codependency codependency things and that's where this calmness is coming from wherever I, I thought there was anyway the calmness I keep feeling like there's a calmness that's came maybe that's because of you working those those type of situations out not uh, depending on others to to bring you joy happiness peace love what have you but you know self love is where it's at yes they're saying um, also real quick I'm hearing to connect with cats this has came up within the past couple weeks again it's coming up now uh, yeah something to do with the connection to cats somebody somebody that watches my videos two 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 um, when I put them out somebody that that is one of my regulars um, this is a totem for you an animal totem yes they're saying I'm hearing Tracy there may be others, but I'm here in Tracy. Anyway, uh, Camel is the last card that came out. It says, trust that you have the resources to get you through the challenges before you. Just trusting in the guidance that you're receiving, your intuition through your higher self, through your guides and angels is enough resources. But this could be even talking about resources from outside help from other people. You know, a girlfriend of mine had sent me a... Uh, uh, message saying that she was going to help me with the whole Reiki thing. And I was like, holy cow, you know, and that is such a huge blessing. And she was telling me how honored she'd be to do that. So, you know, um, resources are all over the place. I didn't know how that was going to happen for me. I kept seeing like visions of different things, but I didn't know that they had to do with this particular thing when, when it had to do with her. But, you know, even that was a sign and omen. Like, they didn't want to tell me all of it, but they showed me I was going to be in Kentucky on this girl's uh, table and doing certain things. Two, three, three, two, I was told to tell you. Um, but I didn't know what it was pertaining to, and I didn't really think that that was ever going to happen, you know. Uh, not that I didn't think I'd ever be at that shop, but I'm just saying I didn't think that this was going to happen, but she's going to help me out with the whole Reiki thing. So that's a really cool uh, resource, and I didn't know it was going to happen. Not completely, but anyway, um, some of you have resources that are coming to you in, in unexpected ways that you would never, ever think or imagine would be helping you or be able to, to give you information or what have you. And they are. And I'm hearing yes. Okay, guys. Today's I am affirmations. I am trustworthy. I really feel like I'm all over the place with this reading today. Even though every time I felt that way, it ends up being exactly what everybody needs to hear, including me, 24, 24. And as I was looking at that, time was standing still. I swear, if there's a glitch at 24, 24, it's because I seen it was like the, the, the time was not moving for a few seconds. Anyway, I am nurturing and helpful. So I hope you guys... Uh, 
understood this reading okay like i said i feel like it's all over the place but i'm kind of feeling a little bit all over the place the energy for me the last several days have been has been very disturbing and overwhelming and um today it's very good so but it's also still a little overwhelming but a better energy of overwhelming i don't know how else to say it but anyway i hope everybody's doing okay and um everybody have a wonderful day please like share subscribe and follow let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. Go check out my uh, website, which is uniqueme303healing.net, and check that out. Make sure to check out all three pages. There's a, uh, three lines up in the left-hand corner. Hit on those, and it'll take you to the other pages beside the home page. And check out Nick's um, YouTube channel, which is Starseed Infinite Healing, and give him some words of encouragement. Everybody uh, stay safe. Be blessed. Love you. Bye.